Hi, my name is Brad Goss, and today I want to talk to you about productivity. And it's something that uh, I'm always striving to be more productive, but I find that you know I really kind of kick it up in January of every year when I'm making New Year's resolutions, and I'm kind of looking at uh, you know how disorganized I've managed to get myself in the last year. I always try and find at least one or two new things that I can carry into the next year. And in December, sort of late December of 2010, I discovered this uh, great, great product called Evernote. And the cool thing about Evernote is it's free. Uh, I have a pro account, cost me $50 a year, but you don't have to have a pro account to use Evernote. Uh, the pro account does give you some advanced features like um, secure synchronizations and uh, they allow you to dump PDF documents and they give you a little bit more storage. But I'm gonna explain to you how it works because I think that if you're not using it, you definitely need to be using Evernote. So the first thing that attracted me to Evernote was the fact that there's an iPhone and an iPad app for Evernote and I can literally have Evernote on every device that I use. I can have it on my laptop, I can have it on my desktop, I can have it on my phone and I can have it on my iPad all at the same time. And whatever I do in Evernote, if I take a note, if I take a picture, if I leave a, an audio note, whatever I do in any of those devices, whenever I go to the other device, that note is waiting for me, that, that content, that piece of content is waiting for me. And this works with PDF documents, it works with photographs, it works with everything. But what I really think is cool about Evernote is the fact that it has text-based recognition. So the example that I heard that I thought was really awesome, even though I'm not a wine drinker, but I'm gonna use this as the example, is uh, you're out for dinner, and you're having a bottle of wine that you really enjoy. And a lot of the time, we don't remember the names of the bottles of wine that we enjoy when we're having a good time with our friends. You can use your camera phone to take a photo of that wine bottle in Evernote, okay? What happens is, as soon as that photograph is uploaded to the Evernote server, the Evernote uh, software will actually look at that photograph and recognize all the text in that photograph. So three months later, you want to recall that bottle of wine, all you have to type in is, uh, you know, Pinot Noir or Argentina or something that you remember about the bottle of wine, or even just say, uh, you know, if you're at that restaurant again, you can say, show me the pictures that I've taken in this GPS location, and it will pull up all the notes and all the pictures that you've taken in that location, and will show you the label from that bottle of wine. But if you type in the word Argentina into the search, it will actually find every piece of content in Evernote, whether it's a PDF doc, a photograph, whatever it might be, that has the word Argentina in it. And it works so well, it's almost flawless. In fact, I had a friend of mine, Justin Popovich, now he doesn't have an iPhone with a camera on it. He took a photograph, a really crappy webcam photograph with his laptop and it recognized all the text in there. So uh, I really like Evernote and I think it's the kind of thing that uh, if you're using a lot of devices and you're always on the go, having a system like this to keep track of little snippets of text, PDF documents, whatever it might be, is an absolute must. And we've actually taken this to the next level where my wife Claire's gotten involved. She does all of our book work and she does all of our, uh, she basically keeps all our files organized. If I did that, we'd be in big trouble. So she basically has uh, this year committed to becoming a paperless office. So we bought this Fujitsu scanner that was actually recommended by Evernote and it's lightning fast, scans both sides of the document at the same time. You put your documents in this Fujitsu scanner, it pulls them into uh, either a PDF document that's searchable, it recognizes all the text instantly, it can pull it right into Evernote. So the minute she scans documents on Evernote, I can then pull them up on my iPhone. I can do a search for you know tax form number 104-6 and I can find all those documents right here on my iPhone and it's gonna pull them in as, as you know readable text. I can read it on any device. It's an absolutely amazing tool uh, and it's the kind of thing where you can share it around your office. So if you have one Evernote account, you can have multiple notebooks in that account where multiple people in your office use it, but everybody has access to everyone else's documents or you can privatize things. There are so many features built into this software that uh, the fact that it's free just makes it a no-brainer. You've, you've got to grab this, you've got to try it, you've got to play with it.